Hello friends, I am here with a Costco haul. Yes. Um, all right, I want to try and make sure that I do get everything in here. We ended up spending $254.48 at Costco. So I am going to give you guys the prices. Um, honestly, I need to do a better job of um, doing meal planning because we went there, but we still don't have like full meals. So that's kind of disappointing. And I also went there hoping to get um, salads, but all the salad was like, you know when the, the um, lettuce starts turning um, brown, it gets like that slimy look. They just looked like they were like on their last leg. So I don't know if it's because we went on a Sunday afternoon and like all the good stuff was taken, no clue. All right, so we're going to get into it. All right, I got the 27-gallon storage. I got three of them. Those things were moving like hotcakes because they were $9.99. So I picked up three because this weekend we're going to start doing um, fall, um, start putting away stuff, fall items into the storage unit. So three for $9.99 is really the cheapest I think I've ever been able to get them at. If you guys know they're cheaper, let me know. All right, Venus razors. These were $24.99. Yeah, Venus sensitive razors, $24.99. I couldn't believe that, but that's that's what I like. So we ended up spending $24.99 for razors only. Some of the stuff my husband got into last night, the little snacker that he is. So um, you'll notice like a couple missing, but we did go yesterday. Anyways, all right. Um, I like the these erasers, and I like them when says four bath lavender and three kitchen dawn i like those those are my favorite to clean with and i really i get those every single month as part of like our monthly buys so um we picked them up for 9.89 so it's actually less than a dollar each because you get 11 of them then as soon as we walked in i saw this neutrogena and i've been paying like 9.99 for one of these like a three ounce I don't, i've never even seen a five ounce so um these are really expensive and i got the whole entire pack neutrogena for 9.99 i think i already told you guys that. i'm sorry you guys it's it's early for me and i'm tired um anyways i think i've said this before but i use sunscreen as my um daily moisturizer so i've been doing that since i was 18 and yeah so because, um, and it, it works for me, it totally works for me. As soon as I get out of the shower, before I put on my makeup, I put this on all over my face. I think I'm gonna start putting it on my neck too. And um, yeah, so $9.99, that is a great deal. Like I said, I've been buying this like on Amazon or at Target. It's been like $9.99 for just like this small three ounce one. So liked that deal. And we needed garlic salt. Garlic salt. What is wrong? I cannot speak today. $7.89, which I thought was not a bad deal. I like everything but the bagel. This was $4.99, $4.89, I think. Yeah. Um, try on salads, avocado toast, eggs, veggies, everything. I love this. So we needed more, and I needed more garlic salt. So this is by Lowry's. It's good. I like it. Also, uh, we picked up dry Kirkland dry roasted almonds seasoned with sea salt, California grow. This is two and a half pounds of almonds. Almonds were $9.99. Then we needed vitamins and this is adult multivitamin gummies. These are for me. My husband buys them. And calcium. He doesn't do the gummies. I do the gummies. <laughs> anyway, so I needed more. So he picked up two of those. We went together, by the way. I just couldn't film it because I was having a hard time loading up the um, our vacation vlog which i messed up then i'll tell you guys that about that in a different video all right the kirkland gummies were 13.99 for the calcium gummy wow that's expensive um and then for the other gummy i think it was i think it's 10.99 so yeah those were the amount for the gummies then this is what my husband got into. He's eaten two of them since yesterday. All right. These were $8.99. They're mini raspberry cakes with buttercream icing, a six-pack. They were a six-pack. Sorry, you guys. He got into them. But they're pretty cool because, like, inside the middle is, like, gummy, I mean, um, raspberry. So he says they're good. I'm back to fasting, so trust me, it is hard 
the first day is the hardest day to get back into fasting, but like, I'm okay right now, but this is going to be hard to resist. Um, the $8.99 raspberry, mini raspberry cakes with buttercream icing. Yummy. All right. So my husband bought me this and happy birthday. And I told him that I wanted a chocolate cake filled with, I don't want a chocolate on chocolate. I want dark chocolate. And what I do, and I know this is terrible and I know people are going to get mad and I'm sorry, not sorry. I eat the frosting and only the frosting. So my husband was like, can I get a piece, just like one piece, and then you can just eat all the frosting? Because that's what I do. I eat the frosting. Like, I could care less really about the whole cake thing unless there's like frosting or some type of filling in, in between. Then I'll eat that too. So, yeah, he bought me this, but I can't eat the frosting or anything. So what I decided I'm going to do is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to freeze this. This is going to go in our big freezer. Anyways, this was $12.99. So not, I mean, that's really cheap, honestly. Also told me to pick out a bouquet of flowers, so I did. These are the flowers that I picked out. Thought they were pretty. I like the yellow and the green. And yeah, I know we need to like take them out of the plastic. But yesterday we were so tired from coming home from, you know, from Laughlin on Saturday, and then we had to pick up Fancy, and then we had to go to Costco, and we spent way too much time at Costco. My husband lost his Costco credit card membership card at Costco. So that was like a fun fiasco to deal with. So we had to cancel the card right then and there. It was a whole, it was a whole thing. And that's another reason why I just decided not to film the Costco trip because it started turning into a big old fiasco. <laughs> Flowers were $9.99. So they weren't expensive at all. That's really cheap. I thought they were more than that. My husband wanted these artichoke um, sausages and they weren't, they're, it's a pretty good deal. I mean, for as many as we're getting, they were th they're thirteen ninety nine. You get sixteen links. So again, that's averages out to less than a dollar a piece. And it says smoked, fully cooked smoked mozzarella with artichokes and garlic chicken sausage. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. And he, I don't know, I guess he tried one in the um, like one of the samples, and he liked it. So he picked out one of those. Then I wanted to get Jimmy Dean the turkey patties, but all we could find were the pre-cooked um, sausage links, turkey sausage links, so that will do, because like my husband will eat those, and if I feel hungry, then I will eat them as well, and ten eighty nine, and you get 48 so that's pretty good, that's not bad, and then for this, we also got, my husband wanted this by Foster Farms, hold on, you guys, stuff is like starting to fall. All right, these are the chicken patties, a breaded chicken breast with um, rib meat classic, and you get a 20 count, so you can make sandwiches out of those, whatever, just something fast and easy for um, for lunch. And those were $14.79. All right, then we got a three-pack of Ready Whip. I don't know why Ready Whip is so stinking expensive, but that was $9.49 for three, but actually that's pretty cheap compared to buying them in the singles. Then we've got, we picked up these organic Kirkland tortilla chips. My husband likes to make nachos and he does all kinds of crazy concoctions with those chips. So um, these were like only $4.99. So that was a really good deal because I don't think I could get that for $4.99 like at the regular stores. Um, then I wanted keto bread and this is, this is all going back in the freezer. I just pulled it out of the freezer, but this is inked keto. Ow, the sausages just fell on my foot. That did not feel good. All right. Keto certified, inked keto, Timberwolf keto seed bread. That is for me. My husband also got his own bread. Inked keto was not cheap. That was $8.99. But a regular loaf, like at the store, can go up to $6.99. So, yeah, it's not like the best, but it's not the worst. Um, my husband's was a lot cheaper, and he got the whole grain Milton craft bread. And his was only $4.99, so that was a good deal right there. That's that's like a really good deal. And like I said, um, the bread's going to go in the freezer. Then he also got into his peanuts last night, and he likes these peanuts, the freshly roasted. That's where he makes... Remember I tell you guys about messes on my... That That's why he doesn't get to have the good stuff on the table, because like we got peanut shells, you know, just flying all over the place. Anyways, five pounds of peanuts, and... I mean, I'm glad that he likes them and stuff. It's just ugh, peanut crumbs, you know? They were $5.99. So, yeah, 80 ounces, $5.99. Nothing wrong with that. That's that's not bad. All right, let me get out some more stuff that we 
also, oh, we also bought, hold on, this is just right below my feet. All right, we needed some of the Ultra Soft, so this is by Kirkland, and I think this was, let's see how much this was. Sorry, you guys, you know, I think next time I'm going to write, like, all the prices on the stuff and then do this because it's hard to look at the receipt and be filming as well so I do apologize that I'm not like totally prepared. $13.99. $13.99. 220 loads supposedly. All right then we also picked up the three pack of almond milk. I gotta get this stuff back into the fridge. Three pack of almond milk which is like a good deal. It was like $9.99 and it lasts forever so that's in the fridge right now the expiration date oh so it's, the expiration date is august 12 2022 <gasps> i thought it would be like way longer okay that may have to go in the freezer as well all right not sure all right so our freezer is like not exciting i mean this freezer used to be packed with goodies but i did realize that i do have a lot of orange juice and that's from the 99 cent store so that can always be used and then, I don't even know if these are good anymore. I mean, this is how bad it is. New York strip steak. Like, I don't even think this is best if used by October 1st, 2021. Yeah, this is going to have to go out. So, but like I said, I'm going to have to start meal planning because we honestly walked out of there spending, you know, $254. And there's real... I mean, I have light, I mean, lean cuisines, but this is like from Target. So like we went in there and we just didn't really have a plan. And I told my husband that I said, you know, next time we come in, we're just going to have to go in with a plan because this is not, you know, this is like an obscene, not obscene, but that was a good amount of chunk to spend on really not having any food, food. So, I don't know, I'm going to have to do some, like, watch some videos and do some meal planning because what he eats and what I eat are totally two different things. And that's another thing, too. So, like, it's super hard to try and do meal planning here because, you know, I have a totally, sometimes I eat, sometimes I don't. When I do eat, you know, I don't eat what he eats. So, it's not like I can do, like, when we first got married, I did, like, crock pot stuff and, you know, but we just don't eat the same stuff. All right, hold on, you guys. All right, so that is our small Costco haul. Not very much for what I spent. I still need to get the house done because I want to film this. I'm tired of my house. Look, at my house is back. I mean, granted, we just got back from vacation. We just kind of threw everything here. And we had to clear the freezer to make room for the Costco stuff. But I'm cleaning out the fridge, and that's always fun. I'm sure you guys know that, how much fun that is. And then, of course, some stuff arrived from Shein. I'm not going to do a Shein try-on haul. Um, because it's just like basic yoga tank tops and like sports bras, like nothing like super exciting, but I will, you guys do seem to like the, the try on hauls. So when cool stuff does come in, I will do a haul and so forth. Um, anyways, I messed up completely on the vlog. I did not enter a clip where I announced that we're having a giveaway. So I am going to automatically enter the two people that put enter me in the, um, in the comment section, please do not write enter me in the comment section because I know the two people that did write enter me because they, they must have listened. I don't know. I know for sure, Miss Shay, you listened to the whole entire video. Um, you're totally awesome and um, channel absolutely adores you. Um, but there are two people that did put enter me and I will enter you into the contest. I am going to announce it again this week but I like I said I'm not putting it in the title as a giveaway because I really want people that watch the channel to win you know there's like people that just run around YouTube entering every single contest and you know it's like a hobby to see if they win and that's not really what I want because um, it's not fair to those of you that comment in every single video and watch every single video and I know a lot of you watch and you don't comment so please don't feel like I'm not including you I I really want people that watch the channel to to win so anyways I will announce the video and I'm so mad because I watched our video um, a vlog and I was like are you serious okay first of all I didn't even put the clip where like we actually show like what we got for dinner we actually talk to you guys and that whole clip is missing anyways but yeah so lesson learned anyways so I do apologize and um, I will see you all later I am back it's Monday and I am feeling like it's Monday and I am off 
for some new adventures. As always, my friends, thank you so much for watching, and I truly appreciate it. And if you would just hit that like button, it does help our videos circulate on YouTube. So, all right. Have a wonderful day or wonderful evening.